This Valentine Day, do not fall in love with stocks. One of the classic mistakes which traders do is to fall in love with stocks. You have to learn to trade a setup, not a stock. If you see a lot of people are holding up, holding on to stocks currently, which are no more going up or they gone down 60, 70, 80 percent. And the reason why they're holding on is because they've fallen in love with that stock or they've fallen in love with the story of the stocks. And that can be a recipe for disaster because stocks come and go. Stocks, when they are hot, are very good. And when they turn cold, uh, they can go down a lot and they never might come back also. There is no guarantee that a stock which you love is going to come back. I see a lot of people approaching me, friends, family or people. And what is one of the classic problems they have is they fall in love with the story of a stock. So some of them are holding UPST from a level where they bought it here or somewhere and the stock is down 60 or 70 percent because they've fallen in love with the story of that stock. And it is not as if they've done a deep research and bought it based on that, but they have basically bought it. They basically bought it because like you know, they heard from somebody or something. Now, as against buying a stock, what you can do is buy a setup. Setup is a setup condition a stock should satisfy to be considered for buying. So here, UPST had an earnings episodic pivot and if you bought it there and you held it, you made money. Or here, UPST had a breakout and then it went up for three to four days. So if you are a momentum burst kind of a trader like me, I would buy on this day or I would anticipate and buy on this day or I buy early in this day and sell it for 14 to 15 percent profit. Similarly, because I'm not in love with this stock, if I see a short setup, I'm going to keep on shorting it and I would make money on both sides. There are many people who just don't understand this, especially beginning people, they are in love with the stock. I was having a discussion with somebody last week and he kept talking about Palantir, Palantir, Palantir. He says like Palantir is such a nice stock and he's been holding on to Palantir. And the stock is down 60, 70 percent. Right Now this person has fallen in love with the stock. He believes in the story of the stock and he might be proven right, right? But then you need to have the capacity to take 60% losses, 70% losses, and it might be a very inefficient use of your capital. Leave this whole thing of falling in love with stocks to investors. Okay, Investors fall in love with stocks, they keep on holding them for two years, three years, five years, and they make 10, 15, 20% and they are very happy. As a trader, stop falling in love with the stock start using setups. Setups on a particular stock, as long as a stock meets that setup condition, I'm in love with that particular stock for that particular setup. After that, I don't care. And you should not also care. Falling in love with the stocks is the common problem which you will have in beginning years. And the moment you get over it, you will become a better trader. Uh, so many stocks currently are in that kind of a situation where people have fallen in love with those stocks. Classic examples of that can be like Daku, right? Stock is down. Many people believed in the story. And when a company misses earnings, there is something called cockroach theory. Whenever a company comes out with a good earnings, there is likely to be more good earnings because if you find a cockroach in house, there are, you are likely to find more of them. Same way, if a company misses earnings, it's likely to miss more earnings. So if you fall in love with the stock, you will continue to hold it because uh, you believe in that story or you have a uh, unhealthy obsession and love for that particular stock. And this is classic problem which you see uh, which uh, traders have, uh, investors have, they fall in love, they kill and hold, and after three, four, five years, they realize, okay, look, uh, it was like marriage, okay, look, and this is not the right person whom they fall in love with. So keep this in mind, don't fall in love with any stock, fall in love with a 
set up by either a breakout or by a pullback or by an anticipation setup not a stock any stock which has anticipation setup and you buy is a good stock right and if it works and makes money any setup which has a right kind of condition and you buy it as a breakout and it goes up 20 30% is a good stock right after that no more love for that particular stock and so much money is lost by people who don't understand this concept of love and they continue to fall in love with stocks and they continue to hold i have seen portfolios of people where they have every stock which is down 60 70% and why because they are in love with those stocks so this valentine day make sure that you do not make the mistakes which many people have made throughout history of speculation and continue to make don't fall in love with a stock fall in love with a setup